Solving simultaneous equations using elimination involves cancelling one of the unknowns. So in this example, the question says, solve 2x plus 4y equals 13 and 6x plus 7y equals 4. So the first step is to label both equations. So we can label this equation equation 1 and this equation as equation 2. And then what we do is we look at one of the unknowns and we cancel it. So in this case, if we look at the x's, we've got 2x in the first equation and 6x in the second equation. So we need to first find the lowest common multiple, or in other words, the smallest number that is divisible by both 2 and 6. That number is 6. So to get 6x in the first equation, we need to multiply everything within the first equation by 3. So the first equation multiplied by 3 gives us so 2x times 3 is 6x, 4y times 3 is 12y, and 13 times 3 is 39. And now the second equation, we can leave it as it is, since we've got 6x in it already. So 6x plus 7y equals 4. Now what we can do is, since we've got 6x in both equations, we can cancel them by subtracting the two equations from each other. So if we subtract the two equations from each other, we get the following. 6x minus 6x is 0, so we don't need to write anything. 12y minus 7y gives us 5y. And 39 minus 4 gives us 35. So finally, to work out what y is, we divide both sides by 5, which leads us to y equals to 7. So we've worked out what y is. Now to work out what x is, we just substitute back into one of these equations. So if we substitute back into equation 2, for instance, we get the following. So 6x plus 7, and instead of writing y, we're going to write 7 equals to 4. So expanding this out then, 6x plus, so 7 times 7 is equal to 49, and this equals to 4. Then we take away 49 from both sides, so we get 6x equals to, so 4 minus 49 is minus 45, and then divide both sides by 6. So x equals to minus 45 divided by 6 gives us minus 7.5. And so we worked out what y is, and we worked out what x is. Let's look at another example. So the question says, solve 3x minus 4y equals 12 and 2x plus 3y equals 8. Let's use elimination to do that. So the first thing we should notice is that in both equations, the number of x's are different and the number of y's are different. So what we need to do first is choose which unknown we want to eliminate. If we choose the y's, then we can do the following. If we look at the number of y's we have, ignoring the plus or minus signs, we've got four lots of y in the first equation and we've got three lots of y in the second equation. Our aim is to get the same number of y's in both equations. So we can find the lowest common multiple of 4 and 3, which will then allow us to eliminate the y's. So the lowest common multiple of 4 and 3 is 12. And so to cancel the y's, we do the following. So the first equation, we can label it as equation 1. The second equation, we can label it as equation 2. To get 12y in the first equation, we multiply everything by 3. So the first equation multiplied by 3 gives us, so 3x times 3 is 9x, minus 4y times 3 is minus 12y, and 12 times 3 is 36. And now to get 12y in the second equation, we multiply everything by 4. So we've got the second equation multiplied by 4, which gives us, so 2x times 4 is 8x, plus 3y times 4 is plus 12y, and 8 times 4 is 32. Next step is to eliminate the y's. So we can see in the first equation we've got minus 12y, and in the second equation we've got plus 12y. So if we add the two equations together, then the y's will cancel. So let's do that here. So adding the two equations, we get the following. So 9x plus 8x gives us 17x. Minus 12y plus 12y, that cancels, so we're left with nothing. And 36 plus 32 gives us 68. So 17x equals to 68. 
Now dividing both sides by 17, we end up with x equals to 4. To work out what y is, we just need to substitute x equals 4 into one of these equations. So let's substitute into the first equation. We have 3, and now instead of writing x, we're going to write 4, minus 4y equals to 12. So 3 times 4 is equal to 12, and we have minus 4y equals to 12. We'll take away 12 from both sides. So if we take away 12 from the left-hand side, the 12 cancels. If we take away 12 from the right-hand side, the 12 also cancels. So we're just left with minus 4y equals to 0. And then if we divide both sides by minus 4, we have y equals to 0. So the solutions to these simultaneous equations are x equals 4 and y equals 0.